<laughs> yeah, man. The snow angel. <laughs> I see you're still enjoying the snow. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Still having a lot of fun. There's still one more thing I want to do, and that's sled, but I don't have one. Hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. No problem. Still only one problem, though, man. There's no heels. Well, we can still sled. What are you thinking? Hey, man, it's awesome, man. Yeah. Hey. hey, slow down, man. Hey, you want to go faster? Hey, hey, slow down. I'm going faster. No, slow down. I'm going faster. No, I'm doing this. Uh, scooter? Scooter! What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and we really shouldn't be because it's snowed and it's five degrees. I can't fill my face, but you're still gonna get a video. So I set some buckets of water outside for a few days and hopefully they are frozen solid and we are gonna see how much ice it takes to stop a 50 BMG. I've got them all set up over there. Let's go check it out and get started. So I have 10 five gallon buckets total. I have seven on the table right now. They've been outside for several days and they are solid. Normally I would start out with a small caliber and work our way up to the big caliber. But today we're just gonna start out with the 50 BMG, blast it, see what happens. And then if we have anything left, we'll hit it with some smaller calibers. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring today's video. Obviously winter is not over. If you need something to keep you warm, maybe some survival gear, you need to check out Sportsman's Guide. They have everything that's considered outdoor recreation. And when you do use coupon code KBALLISTIC so to get you $20 off any merchandise order that's hundred dollars or more now let's go get the 50. all right i've got the serbu bfg 50a with american flag cerakote i love this thing so much and i'm loaded up with a 660 grain full metal jacket let's see how much ice it takes to stop it i'm gonna go with four buckets four buckets here we go Doesn't look like they were frozen solid. Now, most of that was ice. Had a little bit of slushy in the middle of it, but still good enough. So two buckets completely exploded. They went everywhere. So bucket number three. Looks like we may have stopped in bucket number three, which is crazy. Did it go on the table? <laughs> one of these holes was here before. I just don't know which one. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Take these off the table. Okay, this is the old spot because there's some rust right there. That's the new spot. And I think I can see something in there. There we go. But that's not the core. I don't know where the core's at. This little bird over here does not care. You do realize I just shot those buckets with a 50 BMG and you're still over here chilling. All right, I just We got seven buckets, three buckets is the number to beat and we're gonna use a blue tip, pure incendiary round. All right, place your bets. Oh. 
Well, we had seven buckets. Two buckets are completely gone again. And it looks like we hit bucket number three. And uh, I think bucket number three stopped it again. Itty bitty piece of something. Piece of jacket. I don't see a new hole. Okay, well, we still got four buckets. Everything we've tried up to this point has had a steel core. We've got four buckets left. Let's finish up with a solid brass round. I don't think it's gonna make it through more than three, but I may be wrong. I've been wrong before. I think I was wrong. I think we made it to bucket number four. Okay. Got a good hole in this first one. This was different. So when we've shot it with the incendiary and the full metal jacket, those first two buckets just exploded. This time, shot right through the first one. No explosion, but the next two are gone. And then this is bucket number four. It looks like we blew completely through bucket number four. Maybe we should have started with the brass round. Nothing in this bucket. Huh. At least I don't have to clean up ice, right? All right, well, that's gonna be it for today's video. It turns out only a few buckets of ice will stop the 50 BMG. I've wanted to do this for a while, but it hasn't been cold enough. So I thought, why not take advantage of the weather while we still have it? I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, Kentucky Ballistics. Ballistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.